Hey guys, welcome to a new episode of Conflicts. Today we'll be looking at these new robotic cars from Saint Smart Junior. These here are robotic cars that come with a smartwatch that allows you to control it through voice recognition. Literally, if you tell it to go forward, it'll drive forward. If you say turn right, it'll turn right, etc. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at the box before we try them out. All right, so the box itself is very nicely graphic. Kind of shows the two cars here on the front. Uh, there's actually three total, which we have all three today to show you. Over here is actually the watch itself. It has a nice little engine start stop button on it, as well as control uh, movement on the sides. On the back here, it just kind of talks to you about like different warnings, etc., and then just kind of slides open like this. So let's go ahead and open that. And then on the top here, these this looks like it's from Scene Smart Junior. It just kind of says to follow them here. Uh, and then you can find them on Facebook as well, etc. Uh, here is an instruction manual, so it kind of explains what the contents are and in terms of how to start it up, etc. Uh, then we also have some uh, one of the, some of the voice commands, so like go forward, uh, car brake, spin out, light on, go back, turbo, demo mode, light off, etc. So we'll definitely look at that in a little bit. Uh, so right here we have the car itself. And then we have the remote. So let's go ahead and open this up a little bit more. Uh, it looks like it just kind of unscrews on the bottom here. So let's go ahead and twist those off. And then, ah, there we go. And here is our car. And then we can go ahead and take out the watch. Let me start it. There you go, just pulling it out. And then we have a nice little USB here to charge, I believe, the watch itself. So it looks like there's a little plug here on the back. You just kind of take that out and it should be good to go. And then we have the push start button here, and it looks like this is how you turn the car. Uh, then you have the buttons here to control the speed as well as different settings. So definitely go ahead and try those out in a little bit. Now we have three different cars, and here it looks like it looks more like a Cadillac. Uh, I'm gonna say the it does have LEDs on the front here, it does have LEDs on the back. Uh, the front wheels do turn. Uh, the rear tires are these are rubber as well as like looks like chrome finish to it. And yeah, I mean, it's pretty big. It's the size of my palm, I would say. So let's go ahead and turn these on and let's go ahead and take a look at the other cars as well. All right, so here is the second car. Uh, so I already kind of loosened it to just show you guys. And from here, it looks like a Lamborghini. So this is really cool, actually. I like this one a lot. Love the color. And then it has its own separate watch as well. So we'll go ahead and set that to the side. All right, and then over here we have it looks like a Camaro. So let me go and take this out as well. All right, so here is our little Camaro. Looks really cool. Uh, then these are the three starter cars that they currently are making. So we'll go ahead and look at these in a little more detail. All right, now for the remote, you do have to remove uh, the the back pieces here. Uh, so I still have one on here. So I'll go ahead and just kind of pop that out, and then they're all ready to go after that. Uh, so you just kind of press the on button and it'll work. Uh, so each one's designated to its own car. Uh, so we have three different cars here to look at. So let's go ahead and take a look at each car individual. So as we already looked at the Cadillac earlier, uh, this car actually looks very nice. It does come in different colors as well, so you can kind of pick them as you please. Uh, it has like that uh, big body finish to it, which is really neat, and it's got a lot of different colors on it, which is what I really like. Uh, then we have a nice looking Lamborghini as well over here. Uh, these has LEDs on the front as well as on the back. Um, obviously this it doesn't look exactly like a Lamborghini, but it does have a resemblance to it. So that's really neat. So we'll go ahead and put that over here. And then we have our little Camaro over here, which uh, looks really identical to one. Uh, so you got headlights as well, as well as taillights and a very nice looking finish. So now that these are all ready to go, let's go ahead and fire these up and see how this works out. All right, so I have everything set and ready to go. I got my car here. I'm gonna go ahead and press the on button here. Now the car started. I can go ahead and give a different voice command. So I can say, go forward and then stop the car like so. And then I can say, go back. Now note, while the car is actually driving, I do have full control over the steering by simply switching it left and right like so. Uh, as you can tell, when I'm doing that, the tires are actually turning and it's actually making like an indicator sound as well. So that's really neat. Uh, in addition, there's different modes as well. Uh, there is the, um, the turbo mode. So as the car is going, which is just one right there, it'll actually drive faster at that sense. So let me just go ahead and turn that off. 
Um, but yeah, so you also have spin out mode. So the car will drive, you can say spin out, the car will actually do like a 360 spin. Uh, there's a demo mode, which will actually kind of like do its own thing. Uh, and then, yeah, it's kind of fun just to do different things and being able to control the car by voice recognition. Now, I think it does get a little bit more fun when you actually have multiple cars. So let's go ahead and try this out and see if we can set up a little drag race. All right, so I have this little drag race set up here. I'm gonna go ahead and try this out. Go forward. Go forward. All right, well, actually the race itself didn't work out, probably just because I was actually trying to do it myself. Uh, I would imagine it'd be a lot more fun if you had multiple people doing it and being able to control each one at one time. But uh, yeah, let's go and check out a few more features. All right, so I thought I'd show you it in a little bit bigger space. So let's try this out, go forward. So it gives you a control over it using the steering wheel itself. So it's actually a lot of fun as you can tell. Spin out. Go forward. Turbo. So that, that was a turbo, as you can tell, it was a lot faster. All right, well, with that being said, kind of gives you an idea about what these cars are about. Obviously, there's a lot of fun with them, and the ability to actually control the car with an actual watch is actually a lot of fun. And I really love the details on them. I think they're actually very, very highly detailed cars, and there's actually a lot of replay value with these. Now, if you had any questions regarding these cars, feel free to comment down below. Otherwise, thank you again for watching, and we'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.